Hey, grandchildren, here's the deal. Uh, when I went back to Reading over Christmas uh, to visit my family, I got a speeding ticket. Apparently, if you get a speeding ticket, you have one chance to not have it go on your record and not have your insurance go up. You just have to take traffic school and then they erase it from your record. I just got done with like an 11 hour shift at work and I'm gonna fucking do it. Uh, if I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna have snacks. I don't know what the future's like, grandchildren, but this right here is a combo that means, hey, I live alone. I honestly don't understand how I have a girlfriend. I looked up online traffic school for ticket dismissal. This is one of the results. Fastest legally allowed course. The fact that they say legally, I think means that it's probably just about not legal. Your blank can have a great effect on your driving. You cannot drive well if you're worried, excited, afraid, angry, or depressed. Choose one. Hands? <laughs> Emotions or feet? What? <laughs> what kind of question is this? There's this reading section uh, about road rage and aggressive driving, and I just have to show you the stock images. He's not even looking at the road. What is happening on the road that is worth this reaction? I actually don't think this guy is even mad. This guy just looks excited about seeing his grandchildren and how much they've grown. Look at him, he's so happy right now. I've done it, grandchildren. I have finished all the quizzes and now I'm moving on to the final exam. I did it, I passed the test. It's insane how easy it was. This didn't feel like an effective learn your lesson thing for breaking the law because it was all like really obvious stuff. But also like, okay, I, I know that speeding is dangerous. That's a terrible way to start a sentence is like, I know that this crime is bad to do, but there's always a bad beginning to a sentence. But uh, speeding is like the, the, the least bad. Just to give context, when I got my speeding ticket, it was like 11 or 12 at night. It was a straight road and I was alone. It was like the least dangerous thing to anyone. I'm not saying that I shouldn't have gotten the ticket. I'm just saying it's like the least bad of the law breakings that you could do as a person. Uh, honestly, I think I learned my lesson not to speed mainly from having to put up with this bullshit. Because this was so fucking dumb and I never want to have to deal with it again, I think I'm cured of speeding. I heard there was some country, uh, I think it was, it was like one of the European, like Switzerland or some, Norway, one of those, one of those places that I've never been to and I don't really know entirely where it is geographically. I saw this news article once, it said that there was a person who got a, like a $1 million speeding ticket and it, it, it sounded insane and then you were reading about it and it turns out that their speeding tickets are actually based on your income. And they're not like a flat rate, like, like, in, like in California, you just are fined X amount of money for speeding. But that actually doesn't make sense. What's the point of getting a speeding ticket? The point of it isn't to make the government money. I mean, that's a, that's a bonus, but the point of a ticket is to like, is to deter you. But then it gets kind of weird because if you're rich, like if you have a billion dollars, a $300 ticket is nothing. Presumably you wouldn't give a shit about it. You would, like, why not speed all of the time? I mean, okay, you wouldn't speed all the time because there's also like a point system, right? Like, so you, like, uh, you, you don't want to get like too many traffic violation points on your record or they could take away your license. Besides that, there's no reason why you wouldn't speed because it's only like a couple hundred dollars and you're a billionaire. And I think it actually makes sense. Like why isn't it based on your income in America? If it's supposed to deter you. Also like what happens if you're super, super poor? Because if you don't make any money, then three or $400 is so much more to you than if you, if you have a lot of money. This is kind of related. I don't know any of the countries in the world. Like, I'm curious now though, because of the whole Sweden, Sweden Switzer, Leiden, Norway thing, what countries, like where they are, you know? Cause I don't think I actually know. I've never been to Europe at all. Like I've, I've only been to America and Australia. So I have no idea where anything is. I'm curious how bad it would be if I tried to write in on a map where everything was, all of the countries in Europe. Cause I'm, I'm a hundred percent sure I don't know. I'm gonna try to do it. All right, let's do this. Here we go. I don't know anything about Europe. Okay, here's the confusing part is I don't even know 
what parts are the ocean? <laughs> like, okay. Okay, this is this is better. We're 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 off. Uh, we're we're doing something. I I'm just now realizing that I don't think I've ever actually looked at a, a map in my life. Uh. Okay, we got to start with the obvious stuff. There's this long bit that looks kind of like Florida, and I think that's is that Italy? I think that's Italy. I'm gonna say that's Italy. Italy. I'm so confident about that. I really don't know. I really don't know. I think this is Ireland slash Scotland right there. Maybe. All I know is that the EU is like confusing and that it's more countries than you think. Okay, I know everything about geography. I'm not even gonna fact check this. Like honestly, I, I think it's like Norway and... <sighs> oh God, oh God. Denmark, that's Denmark, that's Denmark. Ah, Denmark. Okay, okay, this is going well. What the hell is going on here? Yeah, this is, this is Russia, right over here. What country is that big? Is this... <laughs> um... Ooh... Is this like... Ukraine? <laughs> ah, or is, is Ukraine on the other side of Russia? Because I know that that's touching. Let's just put it right there. Because I don't know. I really don't know. Okay, this is a big bit down here. This is... Germany. Yeah. Okay. So this is Germany, maybe. I'm pretty sure Ukraine is on the other side of Russia, but I don't know. Is, is Switzerland that big? What the hell is that big? Belgium? That's a country. Belgium feels like one of those little tiny ones that people forget about, you know? Okay, so I really don't know which one's Germany. Okay, I think this covers my bases. Poland! I forgot about Poland. The, uh, honestly, the hardest part about this is just remembering all of the, the countries. Like, I know that there's a ton of countries that I'm forgetting. France! I forgot about France! I feel like France is here. Like, it's this tiny little place next to Italy. Like, in movies, I never see oceans in France, so I'm gonna put it here. Okay, okay. Spain. Spain. Oh, that's one of these. I'm gonna change this to Spain. Ooh, one of these tiny ones is Greece, isn't it? This feels like Greece is up here. Okay, I know that Austria is near Germany. So I'm gonna put it right there in the middle of all the Germanys. Yeah. I think what we're learning here is that I don't know where anything is, but I'm great at graphic design. I don't even wanna look up a map because I know I'm right. Anyway, grandchildren, uh, I'm tired, uh, and I worked a lot today, and I passed my driver's test, and I fucking nailed this European map, so if you guys see me in Tim in the near future, we should make our own map. I don't even know what that means, but we're gonna do it. Anyway, um, I'll try to talk to you guys next week. See ya.